Hey y'all, what's happening? Look, before I turn on the camera, I heard this like really pretty song. Like it wasn't even the song though, but I put my own lyrics to it or I heard where you lead, I will follow. But the beat was like dun 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 Yeah, I don't know. Maybe you've been listening to that, maybe you've heard that ch that it chime, maybe it's the sound of a wind chime. Okay, wind chime energy. I need to write that down and look that up later. Um, but I'm gonna bring you this really quickly because I was on my way out the door and I heard that and Source drew me to this reading that I have written down or the notes for this reading and Source is like, you need to bring this reading right now. Bring the message. I'm like, okay, cool. Bet, let me do it right quick before I run to the grocery store. All right, let's see. Um, wind chime energy. Okay. So you could have been seeing the number 744 recently, okay? Um, Source asked me, when we have gratitude on the bottom of the deck, so it's time to give thanks because Source asked me, he drew me to this deck, okay? And was like, there's a card in this deck. It's the card of passage, okay? The card of the stones. And it, it was interesting when I saw this card in my third eye, I didn't know what the card said, but I saw the, the image of the card. Um, on, look, L's playfulness. I saw the image of the card um, in my third eye, okay, or in meditation. And I was like, dang, okay, I see that card. I don't know, I couldn't remember in this deck what it represented. Um, but it's crazy, oh my goodness. So let me get to the point because the passage stone is what the card represents. And I'm hoping it's gonna come out through this message. If it doesn't, I'll pull it out. Um, but source is very intentional. So nine times out of 10, it's gonna come out or reveal itself some type of way. Um, a clearing of the stone hedge. This morning, you guys, I was standing in my kitchen. Thank you all beings of the greatest, highest white light, most high holy angels and holy ancestors. I was standing in my kitchen, divine holy spirit, thank you for your presence. And I all of a sudden, I felt this like clearing of my crown, like my head, like as if, you know, if you've ever had a head cold and then all of a sudden when the sinuses go away, your sinus clears, you feel clear in the head. Like if you've had a head cold, you may have experienced those same type of symptoms. But it was like that, okay? Like all of a sudden I just got this clearing, but I felt it in my head and my ears began to pop. I felt my, my, my tonsils drain. I felt a whole bunch go on up top of my head. And I asked the spirit, like, spirit, what is going on in my energy? You know what I mean? Like what is happening? And Source said, very specifically, a clearing of the stone hedge, right? And I'm like, well, what the fuck is that? Okay, excuse my language for y'all that are language sensitive. Okay, excuse me, but I'm being real, I'm just being honest through what I said to myself. What is that? Okay. And then, so Source said back to me, you know, Google that shit. So I did. I Googled it. And when I Googled it, I saw that it represented, look, wolf, spam, wolf spirit with family. It represented, um, they're saying the tribe okay but basically they're saying it represented uh, uh the stone hinge okay which is like this area where basically i'm gonna tell what happened because no one knows what happened but sources told me what happened okay is that basically those were our ancestors 64 people that were burned there that were slaughtered there okay and stones placed upon that space and now they call it a, a neolithic something like that space okay basically this space is extremely sacred they used to have it to where you could walk up to the stones but now you can't okay um google the stone hedge okay i will be i will be posting that i'll be posting that what it is it's located in england so energy of england here so then it took me okay from the energy of england to you know the queen of england is in, in england so i'm like okay well it's taking me to crown energy so the crown i start picking up i'm like okay this is all making sense so basically there was a clearing of your crown okay there has been a removal of the two of swords energy that may have been hovering over you or hovering in your energy okay um as it relates to your prosperity your peace your pleasure and your divine perception okay so now there has also been an emptying okay an emptying emptying out all right of everything that needed to be released that was with that moon energy so heavy cleansing heavy releasing heavy realization energy okay and we have flow here now we have you going with the flow. Now you're in the flow of the ancestors, okay? Now you are on your way on this passage in route, okay? We have refuge, enchanted fern grotto, okay? So now you're in the protection, in the care, okay? 
of your ancestors. We have focus, uncertainty, and retreat. Now, your ancestors at this time could be changing your focus, okay? You could be switching paths at this time, all right? Finding a sense of direction or new direction. In this time, you could be unsure because this is uncharted or unfamiliar territory. But we have leadership here. They're guiding you to leadership. So your soul tribe members, your family, your ancestors are guiding you on this path of leadership. So no one's ever treaded here where you're going. There are no footprints to follow. You need to make your own footprints, okay? It's time to make your mark on your territory and your sovereign. You need to do, what is it? In your uh, sovereignty, like your rulership of your empire. I don't know if that's the word rulership, but basically how you rule, it's time for you to lead. It's time for you to rule. It's time for you to author. It's time for you to authoritate. It's time for you to delegate. It's time for you to create. It's time. They're saying it's time for you to go with the flow now. And the flow is each step you go where you lead, I'll follow. So spirit is like at this point in time, okay, um, yeah, else, playfulness, where you lead, I'll follow. Okay, so you need to have this like really open hearted type of spirit at this time, really open, really playful, really uh, childlike, innocent energy. Okay, the energy now is to just be open, be vulnerable, just be, be, be here in the here and now. Eagle spirit with freedom. They're asking your focus to focus on freedom, the freedom of flow, the freedom of going with the flow of allowance of just being vulnerable and allowing things to uh, unfold naturally. Um, there's changes. There's things turning. The wheel is turning. Things are turning around. They're turning in your favor with the help of the ancestors. Okay, so they want you to pay attention. We have protection, uncertainty. Know that this path is protected. Even though the path is uncertain, it is safe. It is safe. It is secure for you to travel on, okay? They've already gone before you and flow here um, in meandering, I'm sorry, um, mm -hmm, meandering pathway. They've already gone on the pathway to clear the road for you. So the obstacles have been removed. You've, everything's been staged and set up for you, okay? It's time for you now to go within and see that it is safe. Generosity to give maple spirit okay okay it's safe for you to give now give of yourself give of this moment lead there's others that are ready to follow your guidance there's those that are looking up to you that are, there are those that you are assisting at this time they assisted you this is like the key the, another gift that keeps on giving is assistance guidance sh the showing of how the openness to be vulnerable to share your secrets your secrets of wealth your heart okay my heart is on fire so your heart they want you to share your heart give of your heart okay the right side of my whatever this is over here was like whoa my chest they ready for you to oh you could have had a experienced a heart chakra activation okay after some form of chaos here Okay, but they're saying it's time to let that go. We're moving away from that. Look, courage. Okay, have the courage at this time. Even in the chaos, even in the darkness, even in the uncertainty, continue to have the courage to lead. You may receive information, messages, communication about things that you're not sure about. We have energy and we have letting go. Okay, the source is saying it's, it's, there's a, they, want to, they want to flow through you freely. If you allow them, they want to use you as a temple, use you as a vessel. So the Most High is saying, allow us to work through you. Allow the magic that we possess with focus, Wizard of the Woods, okay, to work through you at this time. Okay, this is Source and his elves. This is the ancestors. They are trying to uh, get you to go in a particular direction, which is a direction where you will be open. Gratitude. Give thanks. Give thanks for this moment. Okay, new beginnings. All right, you have new things ready to blossom, new things ready to open up in your life. Okay, look, acceptance coming out right behind that. Not intentionally, but it did. When things go like that, it is intentional. So acceptance. So there's a need here for you to accept that the family, your ancestors, your soul tribe members, they are ready for you to blossom. They are ready for you to open up and go on this new path. Secret 